talking about separating the art from the artist. I brought up how I still love Michael Jackson's music. You said you also. And then we mm -hmm. talked about the funny coincidence with the album Bad and how their songs in which he's basically being like, I'm bad. I'm a smooth criminal. I'm talking uh -huh. here. I'm look right. And I thought it was so funny that I cut it into a little 45 second clip. I put it on the TikTok because that's big these mm -hmm. days. And it got a shitload of views. I think it's got over 100,000 views or something now. Holy shit. And a lot of it were comments from people who were mad at us saying he's innocent. How dare you? Way to bind all the bullshit lies like the HBO documentaries are lies and all. And I'd be like, look, we're fans, but are, are they not funny? Are the song, you know, they're like, you just hate Michael Jackson. I'm like, I don't hate him. I love his music. We're just analyzing the lyrics in the song titles. I mean, I'm not making any accusations. Um, I'll leave that to Dave Chappelle, you know, or, or no, he's the, he's in the other direction, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know if he's innocent or if he's guilty. I just know what the song said. And uh, so anyway, yeah, I mean, um, uh, to, uh, to all of the TikTokers who had a problem with it, um, fuck you. Uh, how about that? I mean, but that's that is the pro that is the problem. I feel like in our society right now is that like everyone is just like so mad at everyone else all the time, and all people want to do is like, no, you're fucking this, and you're blah, 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 this, blah, 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 this. But like, we forget that like we're all fucking this, and like maybe we should work on on that. You know, so that's that's my hot take for for the present uh, zeitgeist. I agree 100% with everything you just said. And I think that is a big issue right now is there's rarely like a benefit of the doubt or so much as taking something at face value. Hey, here are two comedians who found an odd coincidence on some song titles. That's interesting. That's funny. Instead, they took it as me and you you know, stomping on the grave of Michael Jackson 11 years after his death or 12 years. And I so, and I actually responded to a couple like an idiot where I'm like, look, I'm actually a big uh -huh. fan and you can't really win there because then they're like, Oh, if you're a big fan, you wouldn't be putting this shit out into the world. And it's like, it's, it's a funny little coincidence. <laughs> Some, and, and a lot of people did enjoy it. a lot of people were like, Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I thought that too. Or damn, I never thought of that. Holy shit. Mind blown. You know, all those kind of emojis. Um, <laughs> I have to describe emojis now. Uh-huh. Yeah, my Dude, tell me, I got a lag going on my camera feed. You notice that? Yeah, you're a little choppy for me. I don't know. I where I'm at a an undisclosed location um in uh in Queens right now and the internet kind of sucks here, so I I apologize about that. Uh, undisclosed only because I guess I have all these like rabid Michael Jackson fans out to get me now. Yeah, but, uh, and they're narrowed down to Queens, which only has about 2 million people. But right. man, dude, I saw Andrew Yang posted or tweeted something where he was like talking about how hard it is for parents these days. And he just said, like, I can't imagine he like used himself as an example. And then someone's like, oh, you're using yourself as an example. Well, people have it way harder than you. And his, uh -huh. that, his tweet was basically like, I don't know how anyone can manage anyone, not himself, like anyone like this is it's, I think he meant if it's hard for me, who's doing pretty good in life, how terrible must it be for everyone else? He maybe he worded it a little bit, not in the best way, but for the love of God, do you really think anyone who's followed him, do they think Andrew Yang is some like fuck the working class guy? Like, no, but people just for can't that, wait to, if you give your, if you give up a little bit of rope, they'll hang you with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and like, you know, like even if you don't give them any rope, they'll hang you from your, with your fucking necktie. I mean, I don't know. Like that's just, yeah, sure. I, you know, a Andrew Yang, yeah, he's got it a lot easier than a lot of other people. He's also like got an organization that's just like trying to give a thousand dollars to as many families in the Bronx as he can, and he wants to, um, you know, instate a universal basic income. And yeah, he's fucking rich. So, you know, I don't know what he was trying to say, but like, what does being mad at Andrew Yang do? Like, does Andrew being mad at Andrew Yang for? pointing out how much how much work it is to like get things done in a small apartment does that make your apartment any bigger it doesn't so no. like what the, what the fuck are we doing here man what are we doing here what are we doing